But some of the shit that I seen, he's not. We're not letting him do that I'm in sorry, the NBA. But you're not just dribbling through me like the Harlem. Exactly. <laughs> I'm sorry. I saw some of that. <laughs> well, they were wrong. Victor went and got the ball. Oh. And the lamp, and then there it is. The step block right there. The triple double and blocks for Victor Wembanyama. Wow. Victor Webanyama has been remarkable to say the least. Victor has been the most hyped up prospect since LeBron and has proven all haters wrong. This man is literally averaging all-star numbers in just his first NBA season. At just 20 years old, he is averaging 20 points, 10 rebounds, 3 blocks per game on 47% from the field and 32% from 3. And the man is only playing 28 minutes per game. You transfer that to 36 minutes per night, and here are the numbers. He would average 26 points per game, 13 rebounds per game, 4 blocks per game, and 1.5 steals per game. This is the best rookie we have seen since LeBron James. And not only has Webanyama been the standout rookie this season, but he's also ranked an impressive number 15 in player impact rating, surpassing established NBA stars such as Devin Booker, Steph Curry, and Jimmy Butler. And basically what this means is Victor Webanyama's impact for his team has been so amazing that he is already number 15 in the entire league as a rookie. His versatility on the court is reminiscent of a 2K demigod build that you would make in 2K. Excellent in scoring, shooting the ball, ball handling, playmaking, and defensive prowess. However, Perhaps his most underrated skill is his playmaking ability. The first example I have here of Victor Webanyama's playmaking ability, Jeremy Soan has the ball at the left wing and he's going to decide to shoot the ball. The ball ends up going far right to Trey Jones where he can't really fully grab the rebound and he hits it back out to Wembyama at the free throw line. Victor could definitely pass the ball back to Trey Jones, but he sees a cutting Soan and hits him with a no-look dirty pass for a free, easy bucket. Now, the second example I have here is against the Suns, where Victor has the ball at the top of the key, kind of towards the left wing, and he's going to pass the ball to Vassell and set him a high screen at the top of the three-point line, and then he's going to run back and he's going to set him another screen. Vassell hits Wemby back at the free throw line. He has a decision to make with seven seconds left on the shot clock, shoot it or pass it and he hits a no-look dime to the wide open Trey Jones for the splash. Now, the last example I have here is against the Raptors where Wemby had that triple-double with blocks and Trey Jones has the ball in the corner and he is going to decide to pass the ball to Wemby. Wemby's gonna cut right, Trey Jones sets him a screen. Wemby is going to pass the ball back to Trey Jones and he's gonna cut left for the free baseline dunk, except he misses. But he gets his own rebound and he has a decision to make. He either hits Keldon Johnson in the corner, or you'll see. Wemby passes a ball to a wide open Sohan in the paint for an easy flush. Wemby with yet another no-look dime. Despite Victor's dominance, questions still arise about his weaknesses. While none are obviously glaring, his slender frame stands out, especially when he's matched against the league's best, such as Joel Embiid. Embiid! But nevertheless, Wembenyama compensates with his towering height and remarkable wingspan, often leveraging these attributes to recover defensively. Matter of fact, the man is making a strong case for Defensive Player of the Year in just his first season. He ranks fourth among established names such as Rudy Gobert and emerging talents like Chet Holmgren and Jared Allen. Now, Wemby's defensive stats are tremendously better than all of these guys but his team's record is really the only thing possibly holding him back from winning Rookie and Defensive Player of the Year. I mean, if I was averaging 10 rebounds and 3 blocks a game on limited minutes while being the 15th most impactful player in the league as a rookie, you would obviously expect those trophies. Remarkably, Wembenyama's best aspect of his game is actually his defensive prowess, as it is transcending expectations. He already has more total steals and blocks with 208 than prime Rudy Gobert 
had during his 2017 to 2018 DPOY season with 173. Now, this stat is simply insane because he is leading the league in both categories, blocks and steals, and he is simply rewriting the NBA record books and transcending into a new era of NBA basketball, doing stuff we have never seen before. Here is a chart showing which rookies have had the highest impact for their team in NBA history. Towards the bottom, you'll see the year and the notable player when they played. And then obviously at the top, you'll see the highest rookie PER in the number stating that. PER just simply means player efficiency rating. It is a great advanced statistic to really determine a player's impact on the floor and their entire rookie season based on this chart. This chart shows 27 of the most impactful rookie seasons. At the bottom, you'll see players like Chet Holmgren, Hakeem Olajuwon, and at the top, you will see the best rookie seasons of all time like Will Chamberlain, David Robinson, Oscar Robinson, and Michael Jordan. Now you might be wondering where Wemby falls in this list. Wemby falls at the number 17 spot in NBA history out of 27 players, which is remarkable considering that his rookie season is not over yet. So basically Wembenyama's chance at becoming an NBA great is very high, very likely, and this man is proving all the haters wrong. Looking ahead, the truth is, the future of the NBA is in Wembenyama's hands. It's going to be in his best bet to stay with the San Antonio Spurs because their history with nurturing rookie talents into superstars such as Tim Duncan, David Robinson, Tony Parker, and Manu Ginobili. The Spurs' track record suggests that Wembenyama could really be their next franchise cornerstone and truly the future of the NBA. Bearing injury, he's poised to shatter records and usher in a new era of basketball excellence.